guys, I hope you're pumped for today's video because we are playing some Black 3. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to rank, well, how to get easy and fast XP. I should have told you this before all of this double XP, but I've been doing this through every single Call of Duty pretty much. I rank up quite, quite fast, especially through double XP. You can rank up about three to two times a game or or just one so I'm, i'll be back as soon as i'm in the game just to show you how to do it okay we are back and the best one to do it on is nuketown and this is for free now so everyone can do it domination is for i I'd prefer to go on domination but any nuketown thing you can get quite a lot but domination it's one of the longest same as hard point, but uh, you're not you're not gonna be based in one tiny little room or something because hard point that there's obviously the hard point and quite a lot of people go for that. So what you want to do is don't bother about your deaths. You get really good plays with this. Just run out, try and kill people. But if you get a gun that's got no attachments on, then I think it's better and I am using the Kudo, I've tried the KM44, it's not as good with, as it with the, them with the Kudo, so I prefer the Kudo and you get that straight away, same as the KM44, but Kudo I'd honestly say, honestly say is better, so just rush out, don't, don't bother about your death and just try kill him, no, don't camp or anything, just run shoot stab whatever but just try and do your best you, you can get nearly 100 kills with this and i've told someone before who's well i'm not sure if they read it or if they already did it but it was in a comment and they end up with 112 and obviously they're a lot better than me and they had but score streaks the best ones is UAV counter UAV hater or you can replace that counter UAV to the power core which is takes longer and there's a UAV so let's go and because I'm trying to get gold on this let's go and destroy this but yeah oh yeah the this XM is really good as well so those two together one of the best things because you can just shoot out anywhere and get quite a lot of kills super good but I've went down 6,000 already and we're not even halfway through the first round so pretty pretty quick as long as you get the kills or else we won't go down any XP but yeah this is TDM which is one of the shortest ones that you can get uh, and you can still rank up quite fast, so imagine domination and hard points. And you can get some really clutch game, like little pieces, and just like amazing little game games with this tactic. Uh, it's not really a tactic, it's more just running out, not caring that you're gonna die. Just do what, just, and I have now went down 8,000, and it's not, it's still not even halfway in three minutes, and I've got my specialist um so i am 11 and 10 just don't care about your deaths play 10 there's nothing there's no such thing as a death just play like it's the last day you're like it's the last time you're ever gonna be able to play this game if you if you like it but yeah just enjoy yourself obviously whilst it still won't work if you and no raging, raging can make you more angry, but like so you're getting even more angrier than rage. It's it's better not to look at your like how many kills you've got while playing, but I I that I've always done that on every Call of Duty, so like it makes it harder. So that's why I'm not getting as much kills. But if you want, like, like the person that I commented on their video and told them about, 
it, then um, just don't look at your leaderboard until the end. Do look out for the people using the specialists. Just try and kill them while they're doing their specialist. But it doesn't matter if you die. And try and take down enemy score streaks as well. And you can get a lot of XP for this and a lot of kills and a lot of calling cards and things done. A lot of crypto keys as well. It's really good. Even if the enemies are just camping or anything, that's when this comes in and you can just destroy that thing. It's a really good way. So I'm going to show you, I'll be back in a minute and I'm going to show you how much XP I got then. Just in, team death, in a team death match, which is really small. Hardly anything. Okay, we are back. So also, I forgot to tell you, if you want like hard point domination kill confirmed any of them type of things do play the game so on domination do get the flags on hard point do get in the hard point because you, you need good match bonus as well but on team deathmatch it's just getting the kills like what you're meant to be doing anyway so you don't have to really worry about that as long as you're getting the kills but you need to at least get the kills to be able to get the xp one kill is pretty much 1,000. It's about, I'd say it's about 500 to 800. And this is double XP. And we lost that match. And it's also t t death match. And it was really quick. And I still got nearly 13,000. This way is really good. Something like uplink, domination, hard point. I I would recommend so even if you go on like that normally cause you could still get you can still get the nuke town in it but I hope you guys use this these this quick way of ranking up if you do want to rank up that's I nearly prestiged twice using this way in double XP so I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye. Back, back from the dead.